Sorry. Lord. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to continue what we did in the video that I called What if we only got to play one game per console for the rest of our lives? Yeah, I think I called the video something like that. And that was when I went over the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, DS, 3DS and Switch. We're going to continue this and I will explain it first, okay? This is a make-pretend scenario that if you got the question popped to you today. If you could only choose one game to play per system for the rest of your life, which game per console or consoler, consoler. would you prefer to have? I go with games that I know that I will like forever because this is a fun pretend scenario and we're doing this because we learn a lot about ourselves this way like which games has made a proper impact on our lives that we cannot under any circumstance give up on just like that so I have my Nintendo 64, Gamecube and Wii U here so in this video we are tackling the NES the SNES, the N64, which I have here, the GameCube, the Wii, and the Wii U. One game per console for the rest of your life. Ow! Okay, first of all, we are going to say NES. Which game would I play for the rest of my life if I only got to choose one for the original Nintendo, the NES? And this is quite easy for me. It was between Zelda 2 and Super Mario Bros. 3. I also very much enjoy Super Mario Bros. 2, the black sheep of the Mario series, let's say. But I am actually going for Super Mario Bros. 3. Now this is a game that has a ton of levels and worlds. It is also introducing a lot of new and fun power-ups. You have like the shoe and the all the animal sort of transformations. And it is a game that has a lot of secrets and shortcuts. So you can choose to approach the game differently each time that you sit down with the game because of the flutes and whichever way you want to do this game. Uh, it is fun, actual fun 2D platformer. I'm very picky on 2D platformers and this one is one that I like. Also because I played it a lot when I was a kid. It has some happy music and it also feels just very nostalgic to me. Now for the Super Nintendo, the game that I choose... Oh my god, there were a lot of good games on the Super Nintendo though. You know, I could go for Super Mario All-Stars so that I could somewhat cheat in a lot of games under this um, category. Uh, but I'm going for a game that means way more to me. It just means a lot to me. And that would be Zelda A Link to the Past. Whoa! Now actually, Zelda A Link to the Past, I played this game on the Game Boy Advance as it was re-released handheld-wise on the Game Boy Advance. So this is where I played the game. I also played it a ton on the SetSNES emulator when I was like 10. Never mind that. It wasn't me that installed that on our computer. That was uh, my dad. This game means a lot to me because it is such a open world, such fun times, a lot of huge dungeons. This game is now, and also Super Mario Bros. 3 actually, is on the Switch Online system, so you can play them. That is where I'm going to take the gameplay footage from that you are watching right now. But anyways, it is a huge open world, tons of smart dungeons, and when you think you're done and you think you have seen it all, think again. That was only the beginning, when you get to the point where you can actually travel to the dark world. The entire world only dark. Zelda A Link to the Past is iconic, it is legendary, the music is out of this world, it is so good. I know this game by heart. I want to say that it is a masterpiece. And I need to mention that this game has a huge replayability. I have probably beaten this game 20 times also. Uh, which brings me to the N64. This is my original N64. I love it. And it actually had a lot of good games on it. I played it every day. <laughs> but yeah, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now this is just a front cover that I did because the original sticker was torn off by some kid. And then I made my own sort of front cover of, of the cartridge. Now this is my first Zelda game. So speaking of masterpieces, this one is all that and then some. 
Zelda Ocarina of Time. It is my N64 choice if I only got to play one game per console. Actually, I was nearly putting on Paper Mario on this list, but Zelda Ocarina of Time just did it more, I guess. Freaking love this game too. Can't wait for this to pop on the Nintendo Switch online service N64 app. Paper Mario, guys. Guys. It means so much to me. It is incredible how much a game can bring lots of emotions in some... <laughs> what? So to speak. So nostalgic. So emotional. It's like I could almost cry just thinking about all the good times in my childhood with this game. It's defining who I am today. That's taking it a bit too far, but you know what I'm saying. It's such a staple game in my life. I rarely talk about my past, my gaming past anyway, or past otherwise, but this is a lot of my past. This, this is my past, everyone. I love it so much. So, much like in A Link to the Past, there are two worlds, the present and the future. You play as young Link, and then later you play as adult Link. I know, every dungeon by heart. I love it so much, I can't describe it. Ocarina of Time, play it on your Switch. It is in the Nintendo 64 Switch uh, thing. On your Switch, if you have that, I mean. Now over to the GameCube. Which game would I choose? Which game would you choose? That's also a question, isn't it? Now, I was very close on actually putting Twilight Princess. I mean, I know Twilight Princess came out as a GameCube version as well. I happen to have the Wii version, but there is another game I want to have on my Wii choice. Uh, I'm just gonna say it. I was very close on putting Twilight Princess as my GameCube choice because it also came out on the GameCube. But this is for the rest of my life and I can't put Zelda on every single choice. Now, can I? I mean, I can. It's my list, but you know. I actually went with a very unconventional choice. <laughs> uh, it's a weird choice, so are you ready? What? The Sims busting out. The only reason is because it is a good simulation game that can last forever. There are so many things in this game that you can do and collect and build and work towards. It is going to last for the longest time. It is the biggest and longest sort of game I have on GameCube. I have played it for hundreds of hours, no joke. It is my favorite Sims game because it does not only have the usual free play mode, it's more like an RPG Sims with actual quests, missions and objectives in order to progress to be able to move to the next location. It's sort of quest and objective driven. Why did they quit this formula? It's genius. And if you think it plays weirdly with a controller, no. No, it doesn't. It is not awkward at all. They actually nailed this game control-wise. Weird choice. Gotta have them. Now for the Wii, and I don't have the Wii here. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I do. It's here somewhere. But anyways, I transferred all of my white Wii over to the Wii U, so my Wii's soul is inside the Wii U, so to speak. But my one choice, my one game for the rest of my life on the Wii... Uh, Woohoo! I'm just saying. Xenoblade Chronicles, guys. This is also on the Switch, and I have reviewed it. So yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles. It is such a huge and fun game. Tons of things to do and side quests to complete. I can only praise this game. There's so many things. So beautiful also and fun. The fun factor is high in this game and it is ahead of its time, I feel like. It barely run on the Wii. I heard about people that didn't get the disc to run properly in the white Wii back in like 20... 10. And some people, this is just coming back to me right now, they had to put their white Wii upside down in order for the Wii to read the disc. Why is that popping up in my head right now? I hung around in a lot of Nintendo forums back in the day. 
but I had no problems. I didn't have to put my switch on its head, let's just say. But I heard it was very like, they, they really packed this game onto the Wii. The Wii was actually just not as powerful as they wished it was when they made that game, I think, maybe. Now, the last game on this list for the Wii U. This is my Wii U, everyone. So beaten up. All of my consolers, they are beaten up. And that is very good. I also happen to have all of my Wii and Wii U games in a case like this, so that it's easier to play something. Because easier. There you have Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, Last Story. Such a good game on the Wii. But that's not what we are going to talk about. We are going to go over my choice. Now, if you saw my previous video, I bended the rules of the pretend system that we are pretending that we're having. And I put Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the Switch as my Switch game choice. And that was cheating because, you know, I got a game from the N64 and the Wii and, and the GameCube, yeah. I'm bending the rules again and because of that list we're continuing and I'm gonna say I am squeezing this game as my Wii U choice as my Wii U choice <laughs> because Zelda Breath of the Wild was also released on the Wii U Nintendo loves releasing a bunch of their games on several consoles so they are making it sort of easy for us to puzzle together the pieces of where we want to have our imaginary you know for the rest of our lives games. Um, so that's how I got to have Breath of the Wild included. LOL! So coming from earlier Zelda masterpieces, let me just say that this one didn't disappoint at all. They did it again, they created something truly unique once again. I already feel nostalgic towards Breath of the Wild. The open world is insane, it is massive and you can interact with the world way more now than you could ever before. I mean, water and lightning, gravity, tossing stuff, flying through the air. I mean, people have done so many weird things in this game because it's just such an uh, amazing gravity engine and mechanics sort of, I'm not a game developer, but the world feels very interactive. And uh, that is probably also one of the things that I like so much about Skyrim. I was so surprised that I'm going way off track now, sorry. But <laughs> we're always going back to Skyrim, aren't we? And Skyrim is still on another list. Don't worry about that. What amazed me a lot, it's coming back to me. A lot of things are coming back to me today, I, I don't know. But I was amazed by the physics in Skyrim. That you could actually lift up just about anything and interact with the world. I mean, that is so simple. But that was a huge fun factor for the entire everything. For the feeling that you got when you play this game. And I love it when I see games doing just stuff like that for the fun factor. That like you can lift up stuff, interact with the entire environment. Now, I am going way off topic as usual. And now, that was my forever, for the rest of my life's games for these consoles. I want to hear yours. And if you haven't watched the first video in this now series, I'm planning another video that's gonna come next year, maybe. <laughs> and then I'm going to talk about PlayStation and Xbox and PC and such. I want to know your choices. Just like in the comment section on the last video. I was so happy to see so many people having diverse opinions on what they would choose as their for the rest of their life games. I loved it. I'm loving my comment section, guys. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and liking my videos. You are the bomb. You are the king of liking my videos. I really truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Jag har filmat två videor där för att det blir en låg på det.